cross over to Mtito Andei area of Makweni County, where a section of people living with HIV and AIDS have stopped adhering to antiretroviral drugs, that is ARVs, due to prevalent hunger and poverty in the area. However, there is an ungovernmental organization that has launched an initiative to provide food to those are facing financial constraints in the area in order to boost the uptake of ARVs among those living with HIV AIDS. Elizabeth Atieno with more details. Mtito Ande, situated in Makweni County, is a popular stop of a sport for vehicles traversing the Nairobi Mombasa route. But in this vibrant small town lies a deeply rooted problem of poverty, need with hunger and starvation. A pressing concern has emerged as patients on antiretroviral drugs, ARVs, are compelled to neglect their treatment due to the persistent hunger, given that it is mandatory for those on ARVs to consume meals before taking their medication. Many have chosen to stop their treatment, fearing the potential side effects. You know, malnutrition is probably the commonest cause of immunosuppression. You know, if you don't eat now for a minute ago, it is it, down. Despite these challenges, a glimmer of hope has emerged in the form of the Matendo Yahuruma program spearheaded at the Mtito and Day dispensary. Residents, including those living with HIV and AIDS, have converged in a communal hall to receive relief food generously provided by well-wishers through this initiative. Do you know when you come here, na kona poor adherence, ni na digin ni gipata problem ni zenye zanja na shida tu naanza naanza kumsaidi ya lakini lakini dogo ambacho marafiki wa many partiam. In addition, the hunger situation has forced girls in Makweni County to engage in risky sexual activities as they desperately seek funds to meet their basic needs, particularly food. This has, however, contributed to a surge in the number of HIV cases. Truck drivers and even drivers moving from coastal Kenya into other uh, countries, East African countries, they still stop here affecting us negatively because we are now getting new infections. According to the National Syndemic Disease Control Council, NSDCC, currently Kenya has 1.4 million people living with HIV, with 1.2 million on ARV therapy. The grim reality is reflected in the unfortunate statistics of 18,473 people who succumb to the virus every year. Elizabeth Atieno. TV 47. Thank you.